Boo, I see you. Have you ever played this game with a small child? The utter delight that spreads across their face upon the reveal has the power to melt even the most hardened of hearts. This seemingly simple interaction and the baby's subsequent reaction can be further explained by some interesting science. According to Swiss psychologist Jean Piaget, children from about birth to age two lack something called object permanence. When a person or an item is removed from their view, even simply placed behind someone's hands or back, babies think that that thing or person has ceased to exist. So in Peekaboo, the baby thinks the person in front of them is gone forever until that person reveals their face once more. The baby's pure happiness upon the reveal is not just an expression of enjoyment or fun. The child is experiencing a miracle, the seemingly magical return of their person. In the special Torah reading for this Shabbat Chol HaMoed, during the intermediate days of Pesach, Moses cries out to God, Oh, let me behold your presence. He yearns to see some tangible, visible proof of God's existence. Perhaps we can relate to this experience ourselves. As human beings, it is difficult for us to accept things we cannot see. We are conditioned to think that we need to see things in order to understand them or believe them. And so, of course, we search for visual evidence to prove or demonstrate the presence of God in our world. God acknowledges this deeply human need, reaching out to Moses upon hearing his cry. God replies, I will make all my goodness pass before you and I will proclaim before you the name Adonai and the grace that I grant and the compassion that I show. But you cannot see my face, for no one may see me and live. God continues, station yourself on that rock over there. And as my presence passes by, I will put you in a cleft of the rock and shield you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take my hand away and you will see my back, but my face must not be seen. In this time of physical distancing, N95 masks and personal protective equipment, the idea of being unable to see God's face or another person's face for that matter is more terribly tangible than ever. Some people fighting severe COVID-19 symptoms in the hospital are unable to see the faces of their doctors and nurses who are caring for them with grace and compassion. With faces covered and hands outstretched, these medical professionals are doing God's work. Not being able to see one another fully can make it feel like we are back in Egypt living under conditions of constriction and narrowness. And yet, even in our quarantine, there is the miracle of Zoom, a way to connect with loved ones, colleagues, and teachers, technologically shielded by God's hand, the computer screen in front of us, acting simultaneously as a vehicle for connection and also as a protective barrier. This week, many of us held virtual Pesach seders, finding ways to be together and celebrate our holiday of freedom, even while constrained to our own homes. While of course, we'd prefer to celebrate in person, the burst of creativity that arose from our collective need to observe this holiday in isolation was inspiring. Again, we were both connected and protected. Times are hard, and it can be difficult to see the light in this time of darkness. But we need to maintain the hope and the belief that the light is still there. 
that we will escape the narrowness of this moment battling against coronavirus and eventually reach an expansive place, joining together in person once again without the need for medical masks or computer screens. May we soon see the day when it will once again be safe to fully see each other's faces, to hold one another's hands, to give and receive a warm embrace. And perhaps on that day, we, like small children, will respond with utter joy to the miraculous return of these simple interactions. Until then, we, your clergy, we want you to know that we see you. We know that you are still there, even when we are separated by screens. We love you, and we are sending you strength and courage. Shabbat Shalom and Moadim Lesimcha.